Since I've got a few notes, I'm going to do this next to the lectern, if I can hang on my notes. Maybe I'll just hang on to my notes. Okay, the next slide. Um, BUC, I want, what I want to do is lay out with a really broad brush BUC's current financial condition using as few numbers as possible and then lay out with a, a really, really broad brush the financial way forward. Um, first of all, I know Barb and I feel really lucky that BUC, our current condition, is we have no debt with the exception of um, the loan against the endowment. And um, we also have a, a beautiful facility, a Yamasaki-designed uh, facility, uh, and significant real property. And so the, some of the current members and members that gone, have gone before us have left us in a pretty good position. In addition, we have about $500,000 in endowment funds between music, uh, Memorial Glen, and then the general, general endowment fund. I rounded that up a little bit. It isn't quite that. But our financial condition, in, we're really lucky in many ways that we don't owe any money to anybody. The uh, loan uh, from the general endowment will be paid by, back by the end of this year uh, in thanks to no small part, uh, thanks to the Hodes family, who I didn't, didn't have the pleasure of knowing, but many of you do. Uh, they um, moved $60,000 of the money that they uh, uh, bequeathed to BUC to go and pay back the endowment. So by the end of the year, we will we will be out of that. Um, and the endowment is funds that we really don't have easy access to, and that's a good thing because uh, the money that's there is is sort of earmarked. The income from it, not the principal, is earmarked to be used. Um, Basically, in two ways: one, improving BUC's uh, facilities to real capital investments, and the other is uh, for uh, financing outreach programs to uh, to help our congregation and Unitarianism in, in general. So, the next slide. That's where we are. BUC also has a budget that every year is managed down uh, to meet our income. Uh, each year, this year we have about 100,000, 120,000 more in requests for programs and expenditures and personnel and, and so on and so forth. Uh, we have budgeted for more than $100,000 more than our income will be. And what happens is, and they're doing a great job of it, the staff <laughs> manages that down to meet the income. But also what it means is that we're we're in a, a condition of sort of genteel poverty where we, <laughs> we have uh, kind of like Downton Abbey. Anyway, <laughs> we, we don't have any debt, but when stuff breaks, we have a really hard time fixing it and improving it. Um, the campus needs, uh, again, this is a really broad brush situated, really broad brush numbers. We talked minimally about the items that, uh, that have come on the slides before. We're probably talking about a half a million dollars in improvement. Um, and over and above that is, uh, apologies to John Hammer for calling it a landscaping plan because it's much more this hardscaping and obviously you saw those. So on the order of uh, 500,000 and if we really wanted to do all of those things and, and have gathering areas for the church members and gathering areas for the youth groups that they don't have and that sort of that sort of thing. Some more significant investments in facility would be up around a million and a quarter. So the funds that we will be talking about going after are on the order of three quarters of a million to a million and a half dollars depending on what we as a congregation decide are going to be the parameters of what we're, what we're going for. So the next slide um, when I read the slide over coffee this morning, I realized that, that obviously this is not a plan. There are no details, so the approach would have been a better, a better headline for it. But one is the, the initial thing is to 
uh, have the congregation authorized going after a capital campaign to raise the funds to uh, to accomplish what we decide as a congregation we're going to accomplish. Um, Kim Ruiz actually had the idea for uh, had read about some some church bond programs and, and uh, passed those along to me, and I've done a little bit of exploration. If the if if our reach exceeded our grasp, and the capital campaign did not provide enough funds to do what we decided to do, one thought is to uh, we can always go get a mortgage, of course. But another thought is to have a church bond program where the church members um, um, receive that interest, if you will, that the bank would have received if we had gone with a conventional mortgage. And a thought, an additional thought that the board had was that we take that a little bit further and say that those members who uh, contributed to the capital campaign would get first crack at uh, at the bond issue as well. So you get a shot at, uh, at least the concept is we get a shot at, uh, four, if we're going to pay a bank 4.5 to 5%, why not pay those that kind of a, uh, a interest amount to uh, the members? 2013-2014 um, schedule, we've already gone over. The point is that we want to get off the dime and, and get going. And one other approach, because it's going to take us time to do financing, any kind of long-term financing or um, um, a bond uh, program or a capital campaign is to get a bridge loan. I'll be exploring that with some lending institutions this week uh, to get us started. Because I think well, we have enough confidence that we can, we can do certain things. We'll do the next slide. Uh, I, again, I want to do as few numbers as possible, but uh, I did want to show that, um, you know, Green Sanctuary has been working hard on, um, as well as other people, on the ground source heating, and on, we'd like to get uh, LED lighting throughout the campus. Uh, we already have it here in the, in the sanctuary, but also replace the, uh, the fluorescent tubes now you can do with LED and so on. And, and the energy savings that uh, we've, we've roughly calculated by doing ground source heating and cooling in the social hall and replacing all of the uh, uh, light bulbs and a couple of other upgrades is six to $9,000 a year. Uh, labor savings by far fewer repairs and changing light bulbs and that sort of thing, uh, six to $8,000 a year. Supplies, we spend 900 bucks a year on light bulbs, in case you want to know. <laughs> and so we, we'd save some on, on uh, obviously, on supplies. Um, and cap every year we have a CapEx budget of, uh, this year it started out at 15000 part of that scale back uh, of, of the budget ending up meeting our income. Uh, so as capital expenditures uh, um, amounts could be then um, applied to retiring debt. In other words, the, the point I'm trying to make is that the bottom line is that by spending these funds and in investments, we're not only spending money, we're saving money year after year. And I feel, I've been a lot in, into the numbers. I feel pretty comfortable that somewhere in that thirty to $35,000 a year range would be the savings results of, um, we've got a line off in this one. The, the the five to the five to seven thousand dollars actually is what Jim Shell and his group think we could increase rental rates by uh, by having a nicer facility and new tables and for us bridge players and, and that kind of thing. So I'm sorry, there's a line missing in this slide. In any event, um, it isn't just spending money; it is. Um, it is getting a return for that money by improving the campus. And the, and the dollar mark with the question marks and a line that's missing on the slide is membership, the, the line says membership growth. And what does that mean if we have a friendlier facility, a facility that's going to attract more members, uh, more members into the I, kids into the RE programs and so on and so forth. So I apologize for the, the 
a sort of jumped up slide here, but the additional contributions to income by even the smaller part of the improvements that we're talking about would generate that kind of savings and contribution, um, which either the, if we if our capital campaign raises all the money, that's that more money that the church can spend on programs. If we do have to borrow some funds, we don't have to necessarily reduce our annual expenditures. We can gain, we can retire some debt, probably three hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand dollars of debt if we have to do bonds or borrowing. Okay?